pursuit of continuous quality education. Living up to DepEd's mandate of no student should be left behind. From the home of Sarong Bangui, the land of Oragons, this is Santo Domingo National High School. School on Air. School on Air. Good afternoon to all grade 12 senior high school students who are listening right now. This is your school on air in your subject entitled Introduction to Philosophy of the Human Person. Okay. Now, let us pause and offer a short prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin this lesson. Help us to focus on our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us, your Holy Spirit, as you think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Shout out to all my students of grade 12. I hope that all of you has a chance to listen today here in our School on Air or Radio Escuela. Shout out also to all my fellow RBI teachers who are listening right now, especially to our, to our ever supportive colleague, RBI trainer, Sir Renel Ebuenga, who guide us in our difficulties and struggles. A special mention also to our school head, Ma'am Ellen Abriantos, and to our senior high school coordinators, Ma'am Maylene Mendoza, Ma'am Wenny Morales, and Ma'am Mary Ann Kadag. Be sure that all of you are safe and healthy, free from stress and worries. All right, let us be ready to digest our lesson today. At this moment, I want you to get your module 3 for our lesson today about human limitations and possibilities of transcendence. Again, please prepare your handouts, and our topic for today will be about human limitations and possibilities of transcendence. Meanwhile, let us recall our previous topic, last module. It was about some of the methods of philosophizing that leads us to wisdom and truth. It is the method that helps people on how to judge the truthfulness of a statement or how to determine if it is true or not true. Also, it is the method that taught us how to respect others' beliefs and opinions. Right. 
Now let's proceed to our new topic. Get ready with your module 3 and I hope that you already read and browsed some part of it. Again, our topic for today will be about human limitations and possibilities of transcendence. Class, what does this saying mean? Okay, as the sky has no limits, so is your life. I hope you are familiar with this statement. Can you give a short insight about this? Or you can send it or post it in our GC. Then I will check it later. So, what does as the sky has no limits, so is your life mean? Okay, so this quote is sky has no limits, so as with your life. Whatever your dreams, ambitions, and aspirations in life, you can make it happen without any boundaries. It says that there are no limits and anything is possible. You can achieve if you really want to and reach that goal in life. As a human, we only have limited capabilities to do this and that. But it does not prevent us from dreaming and reaching our goals. Other people are not contented for they, for what they have now. They are still aspiring for more. But there are some people who are already contented for what they have in life and doesn't want to aspire for something bigger. You know, class, whenever I dreamt about flying, it's the best feeling in this world. So, do you dream about flying? Can we fly high unto the sky? Yes or no? No? Yes? Okay. You must try on a plane, of course, right? So, it is impossible to do. If you will try to do it, what will happen to you? So, you might be in fatality. Naturally, we do not have the ability to fly. Compared to animals, birds can fly, but if someone hit it, they will fall and die, right? So don't kill a bird. It's a crime, you know? Human has a very limited capability about strength, speed, and the use of our senses. When you get tired, you need to rest. We need to recharge just like our cell phones. It is a feeling of over fatigue. And hunger reminds us that our body needs to eat for our nourishment. If we will not eat, what will happen to our body? Okay, we will lose energy and we can no longer think properly. So, if it is time for you to eat, eat. And don't eat late when you're hungry because it will have a bad effect to your body. Now, class, what do we mean by possibilities for transcendent? Okay. 
it refers to our ability to explore and surpass our limits. It is going beyond the limits of ordinary experience. Also, it is a trait that distinguishes the human person from other beings in existence. Although we have physical limitations, we can transcend them because of our spiritual dimensions. Okay, transcendence also means overcoming oneself or being in control even if the body reminds us of certain tendencies. People feel these tendencies and can govern them and ensure that they are exercised within the bounds of reason. For example, a person who has control over his or her habit eventually becomes unhealthy and develops an eating disorder. A person who allows the pleasures of dangerous drugs to rule over him becomes what? Becomes a drug addict. Everyone has the capability to carry within himself or herself the, sub the possibility of transcending his or her limits. When facing this possibility of transcending, it includes challenges, okay? sufferings, trials, and obstacles. So, when doing what we want, we should be ready to face all the challenges and consequences that we may experience and encounter from it. But we can overcome this but with effort. Okay? With effort, patience, perseverance, and also the most important thing is prayers. Okay? You don't have depend so much from your energy and effort because it is only God who plans and decides for you. Philosophers consider the human person as the union of the body and the spirit. The body and the spirit is not only united, but they are integrated with each other. So, they need to incorporate both. Without the spirit, the body is useless or you are dead. Or you are not existing anymore in this earth. Embodiment enables us to do and experience all the things that make us human persons. Therefore, human body has limitations. Alright, I hope you get something new from me. I hope you enjoy listening. Can you send a thumb up? In our group chat, anyone can send a short three cup in our DC. So, what are the things that I have said here a while ago? I want to know if you truly listen to me. I want a proof. Okay, come on, guys. Okay, while I am waiting for your recap, 
let me give you an activity. Write this first in your notes. Okay? I want you to explore your own possibilities for transcendence. Okay, you get your ball pen and your paper. Okay? Listen, guys. Make a table with two columns and write a sentence on top of the first column. Okay, the first column, write this sentence. Okay, I want to do the following dot, 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 dot. Okay, and to the second column, write again a sentence on top of it. Okay. Okay, I hope you, you are following my instructions. Okay. On the second column, write the sentence. I can make this happen by that, 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 that. Okay, then fill out your table with the appropriate responses. I hope you get it. It's just as simple as that. Now, let's go back to the recap. Okay, first of all, we reflected on the saying, As the sky has no limits, so is your life. We discussed that there is no limits to our dreams, ambitions, and the like. Being physically limited in our abilities, it does not prevent us from hoping or aspiring to greater things. We also emphasize the meaning of the word transcendence. And we also cited some examples and mentioned some personality who surpassed and overcome these possibilities for transcendence. Okay? We also tackled the meaning of the human person as an embodied spirit. All right, continue reading your module and find out more terms and definitions available in your module 3. You have listened to another day of learning. I am looking forward to what we will talk to our next lesson. This has been your teacher, Mom M.D. Campopos, saying, if there is knowledge, there is power. Remember, philosophy student knows a lot. Goodbye. Thank you.